it's another chilly morning here in late today and we're all packed and ready to go set out uh, towards nubra valley so um it's going to take somewhat around four and a half to five hours from what the person is taking us over there has told us and we're gonna set us uh we're gonna set out right now and see what nubra valley has in store for us come with us So we've crossed the checkpoint and right now we are on our way to Khardungla Pass. The place where I'm standing at right now, it's somewhere around 14,000 feet. And I mean, the air here is crazy chilly. And if you can see the scenery out here, I mean, for anybody who thinks that brown is a boring color and you know, it's not interesting at all, you should come to Ladakh, you know it's going to change your opinion about a lot of things so you know let's meet you guys after some time and if you haven't liked shared and subscribed already do that we finally reached the khardungla pass and right now we're standing at 17892 feet the feeling is absolutely crazy. I mean, uh, the air keeps getting chillier and oxygen levels just keep on dropping. So, you know, if you want oxygen cylinders, inhalers, whatever it is, the best thing to do is get them from Le. Now, from here, we will be going towards Mubra Valley. But all in all, you know, one thing just remains constant, the beauty is magnificent it's unbelievable and i'm just so glad that i can share it with all you people in whatever way i can It's 5.30 in the evening and we have finally reached Nubra Valley. So right now, if you can see behind me, we are at the place where you can find the famous camels with two humps. So we're just going to take a look around and the valley is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. So we're just going to walk around, take a look around, uh, maybe ride the camels, who knows? And uh, then we'll go on to the place where we're staying at for the night. So these are the double ba double humped camels behind me, also known as the Bactrian camels. And I just got my ticket, so I'm waiting for my turn to ride one. So uh, they are they actually charged 300 bucks per person, and I'm extremely excited to ride one. So they do like a 15 minute ride per person. So let's see. Uh, just waiting for my turn, and I'm super super excited. After an exciting Bactrian camel ride, we have finally reached um, Galaxy Homestay. So Galaxy Homestay is where we are going to be spending the night here at Nubra Valley. And um, let me show you the rooms first. So um, here is the mountains and all and everybody has dinner really fast. So we are going to be having dinner somewhat around 7.30. Don't mind the mess because we just unpacked. So this is what a typical room at Galaxy Guest House looks like. You have a double bed uh, with blankets and all. Um, the washroom is actually pretty clean and you get hot water because they have huge solar panels attached on the terrace. You have a TV, a rack, two chairs, a closet, a mirror. You know, pretty much everything you could ask for. This is basically the corridor where you can also like set your sofa and all. 
So we're going to be going down for a dinner right now. And uh, well, tomorrow it's a whole other day. Uh, so we just finished our dinner at uh, Galaxy Homestay right now and I have to mention how the food was absolutely delicious. So that is I think one of the perks uh, that you will find when you're staying in homestays or hotels for that matter in Leh or Ladakh. For, or Ladakh. Uh, because for example yesterday we did try some food from outside and it could not match up to the standards uh, of the food that they provide in the homestays which is really really good. So tonight we had some rice, chapati, uh, two types of vegetables, dal and chicken and everything was actually pretty healthy and it felt like home cooked food and it tasted really really good. Day three here at Ladakh today and it's another sunny yet chilly morning. So we're just going to set out from Nubra Valley right now. And uh, this is what the agenda for the day is. Uh, go for ATV rides, then visit the Diskit Monastery and our final destination for today would be Pangong So or the very famous Pangong Lake. So let's see how today turns out. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Hirayat. And as always, you're welcome to the trip with us. Right now I'm sitting in front of the very famous Diskit Monastery which is situated at the edge of the desert in Nubra Valley. Now as you can see behind me the statue of the Maitreya Buddha or the future Buddha stands tall at a height of 108 feet and the Diskit Monastery is actually situated at a height of 10,308 feet. Now, the thing about uh, this Maitreya Buddha is that it faces the Shok <laughs> River, which is towards Pakistan. And uh, this Buddha was initially made um, with three ideas in mind. One is the protection of the Diskit village. The second was promotion of world peace. And the third was prevention of war with Pakistan. The inside of the monastery where you have the prayer hall which is also known as the Dukhan has huge prayer drums and also different kinds of images of the Buddhist guardian deities. Uh, both the outside and the inside of the monastery houses beautiful intricate frescoes and wall paintings. Now another thing uh, that happens at the Diskit Monastery is their festival which is uh, known as Desmoche or Dosmoche. And the highlight of this festival is the Cham dance, which is a mass dance done by the lamas of the monastery. Uh, the reason why they participate in this dance is because they feel that it wards off evil fortunes and brings good ones. Today is the 5th of October and I'm standing in front of the Diskit Monastery. Behind me, they are celebrating the Diskit, the Diskit Gustor Festival. So this is a festival that goes on for two days and the highlight once again of this festival is the Cham dance, which is performed by the Lamas of the Diskit Monastery where they wear masks and uh, do different kinds of dances around the courtyard. So as I already told you, it is done as a way of uh, you know, warding off evil from the monastery and also the land of Ladakh. Um, as it is, the Diskit Gustor festival signifies the triumph of good over evil. And uh, as a part of this festival, an effigy of the devil is also burnt. Um, throughout the two days, uh, not only people who are native to Ladakh, but also travelers can be a part of this festival and come here and enjoy it along with everybody. And it's just filled with dances and songs for all these two days and it's absolutely beautiful to watch.
So we're having lunch over here and we'll be traveling for six hours or so from here. So the place where we're having lunch, you can get everything from chicken rice to thukpa to veg biryani and also biryani if you want to. And uh, tea and coffee as well. Just now finished uh, riding the ATV over here in Nubra Valley and it was one hell of an experience. So uh, what they do is they charge you like 1000 per ATV and uh, one ATV can take around two people. So one person will ride it and another person is going to be behind you. And they usually send a person with you to just, you know, as a safety measure. So, and you have these sand dunes over here and it is terrific, absolutely. It's just something you absolutely must try if you are at Nobra Valley. I'm at the Sheok Road right now and we're all heading towards Pangong So Now the journey is just, it just keeps getting delayed because as you can see like this scenario is crazy, it's breathtaking. It's like you just can't stop yourself from you know just getting down at these places and admiring the beauty all around, clicking a picture or two, making a video or two and you know like at the end you're just like I mean it's okay it's gonna get delayed but what can you do when you're in a place like this I mean it doesn't even look like it's planet earth it's like you've gone somewhere else altogether Uh, so it's around 9 p.m. right now and we have finally reached Pangong Lake and uh, we're staying in the, these uh, awesome cottages. So the one where we are staying at is known as uh, the Royal Cottage. Mm. Huh, the, it's called the Royal Cottage and uh, right now we're in one such cottage where we are here for dinner and I mean it's absolutely freezing but the fact is you can't believe the kind of food you're getting even here like they have a proper buffet system and all so you have like uh, rice and chapati and dal and matar paneer egg curry and the best part they're giving you hot gulab jamun i mean like what's happening but yeah i mean it's chilling and we have no idea what the actual temperature is it's probably somewhere around zero or one or even minus don't know because there's no network uh, we could not see the Pangong Lake because you know it was after sundown but can't wait to see it tomorrow as always don't forget to hit like share and subscribe and this is Hirayat I am Tiasha and I shall meet you the next day in the next video <laughs>